brother a spirit of criticism doesn't just appear out of nowhere you didn't just happen to be messy like that Insecurities, unmet needs, negative experiences, and living under the pressure of continual criticism are often at the root of a critical spirit. The reason why a lot of us are good at destructively criticizing others is because somebody overdosed us on it. Now, you know, you got some friends and kids. You might even be married to somebody. That no matter what you do, it's never enough. It's never good enough. It's always something wrong. It's too short, or it's too long, too hot, too cold, too salty. Or too sweet. <laughs> like they just going through every bowl of partridge you got like Goldilocks. <laughs> Y'all hear me here today? <coughs> Look, I need to tell you something. In verses 3 and 4 of our text, this is what Jesus said. Why worry about a speck in your friend's eye? I mean, a little piece of sawdust that's smaller than an eyelash. Why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How, how can you even think of saying to your friend, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye? when you can't see past the log in your own eye. Now, what is he really saying? He's getting at this. The traits, the negative traits we often dislike in others are so often the undetected or uncorrected habits we personally possess. Y'all get what I'm saying? Look, I, I've seen parents and children who couldn't get along and couldn't figure out why they couldn't get along, but everybody knew they were just like. <laughs> you mean tell me I'm the only one who's seen that? You, you in the Lord's house, speak up. Have you seen that? Even certain co-workers and certain friends get, you know, bitter and blistering towards each other. Think they talking to each other. You calling that person's name, but you're really talking to yourself because you're just alike. You're two peas. The same pod. So according to Romans chapter 2, verse 1, when you criticize and judge other folk, you talking about your own self. You didn't know it, but you were talking about your own self. Can't cook no how. You don't know how to cook everything either. Who fixed your hair? Never mind that. Who forgot to shine your shoes? <laughs> You're talking about your own self. Let me make one last point. To avoid destructive criticism, benefit from honest self-criticism. Benefit from what? 
Don't cook food and 